This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what. Folks, we welcome you here back to Mount Camel in the Middle River. And a huge matchup for Mount Camel this evening here in the Die Sporting Network DMV High School Basketball Showcase. Now we say you're going to be at Curly. The Curly game got postponed once again. The makeup date will be mentioned. If it is on the day we can do it, we will let you know. But for Boys Latin, they have been red hot here in the new year, and including the big win against Mount St. Joe's two weeks ago. Now the Lakers today wants to continue being on the top of the mountain in my AA Black Division. Mount Camel. I know this game is huge for them as they are down to, to fifth place in my Red Division. Only the top four from each side gets it. Curry gets it going for Mount Camel. He impressed us two weeks ago at St. Francis. Inside. Trying to turn it and turn it over. Back comes Boyce Latin in the dark uniforms today. One of their captains there, Kendall Walker. And the ball swings it back but turns it over. Curry runs it up. Swings it over to the side. That's a three. That tipped and missed. Rebound there goes to Donato. Has they dividends for the Lakers. Inside and the layup goes. Start off there for Mr. Shell. Junior guard. Early 2-0 lead for Boys Latin here on his Dr. King birthday celebration. Now ladies, and use your tradition as I swear never to bring you a game. Usually St. Francis over the years, they've had many games on MLK Day this year. They had their game on Sunday. Going to you. Oh, Kimmel. This year with the tradition. Boys Latin has been one as well to play. And MLK Day. Inside, try to tie it up, off the glass and in. Turf the junior puts it down, we're dead even at two. Swings it back. Spencer. Over Shao. Shao pulls up and hits. He was in traffic, he reversed his shot and got it through. And four points for him so far. Curry inside, coast to coast, and he puts it in. Early 4-4 game here. It's back nothing left between these two MIA teams in this interconference matchup. Huge for both sides. Show for three. That tipped and missed. Here comes Mount Kimball. That's a three. That hits off the back, no good. Got the rebound is Donato. Donato gives it up to Spencer. Spencer inside, it spins out. Turk with the rebound. Back to Perry. Perry with it. Nazanin. Shot clock down to 10 and side is spinned out. 
Iron has not been kind on both sides. Walker brings it down for the Lakers. Spencer for three. Tip to miss. In possession, but not able to get the rebound. Finds it in coast to coast. And he's fouled. That's the second team foul against the Lakers. <coughs> Called in the act of shooting, and he's going to be shooting too. First shot. In there. Talk to the Lakers coaching staff for the game, and the Lakers have been red hot in January. Not lost yet. Last time you seen, we got them. We got them in our opening. High School Basketball Showcase game and just top of the hall. As Cougars up one. Another attempt, that one goes in. Second four game here, two point lead here for uh, our Lady Mount County. 25 left here in the first. Spencer, shell. That's the three from Donato, and he hits it. But Donato gets going. Look out. Seven six lead for the Lakers. Pick and roll inside, off the back, no good there for Green. Nice offensive rebound. Donato swings it to Shaw for three. That hits the back. Nice rebound there by Evans. All right, with it. Going coast to coast. And just did not go in. Donato back over. Shell. Nice kick, it tapped out. It's going to stay with the Lakers. Here goes Trevor Quinn of uh, Mount Kim. There's a job. We're building the Mount Kim program. Donato, shot clock down to 20. Keeps his dribble. Swings it back. Turns it over. Anthony all the way to the basket. And in. The lead to one, back to Mount Camel. Boys Lighting Mount Camel by way, rematch of a game we had here three years ago in the MIA playoffs where Mount Camel and Boys Lighting went to overtime. What a game that was. See, some of that again, you never know. Just joined us, thinking this is Archbishop Curley and uh, Delaney. It is not. A cancellation of our control on that one. Come on down here and check out Boys Land one more time. Here against Marcelo Leonardo. Nice way to keep the ball inside. Blocked from behind. And Turk gets the rebound over the bar. Nice pass. Evans. He's shooting too. Hey. He's up the line shooting the First shot. No good. <laughs> Nine seven lead for the Cougars. Here. 
Swings it back. Spencer drives, cut pass, and gets it in there. Will Spencer over turf for the two. And we're tied at nine. There were 314 left in the first game. Perry. Perry for deep. That one tipped and missed. And the ball stays with Boris Latin and Kurt was trying to fight for it. And it's going the other way. Tied at nine here, 256 in left in the first Nato. Screen. Green. Missed it. Turk grabs the rebound back to Perry. Minor. Turk inside. And he traveled behind his back pass. He was losing his foot, and I thought the, the junior had the space in there to get that in the basket. Mount Campbell inside. Little with the two. 11 9 lead here for the Cougars. Pick City. Hurry. Coast to coast. And he lays it in. 13 9 lead here. Donato. Ah, and he lost it wide. It was out by Perry. The ball will stay with Boys Lightning. Time out by Boys Lightning. And I think a wise one by the Lakers. 13 9 game here. Alright, so the network, DVI's Go Basketball Showcase. Thank you so much for checking us out. Check us out on Instagram and the Twitter. Guys running that. And on Facebook. Check us out. Finally, right here on YouTube. 920 subscribers strong plus. Thank you so much for that. And continue to check us out. And we are home to the best sports action here in the DMV. Right now, boys Latin. Coach Reed served him over there saying, don't feel like his guys are really into this one. In the state here, this is the only game in town. Not in the state, excuse me, but in the Baltimore metro area, that is. Like I said, it's both of them in a makeup game with Curly and Delaney. Gonna take place. New town was out of town. We're going to talk more about high action coming up down the road here. Some of the action this week you can check out as well. We are the area, like Delaney and Newtown, what a game that's going to be. That's going to decide who's going to be in the Baltimore County Championship, I would say. That's a drive. Picked off again. Behind Little's back, he lost it. And it's back over. Boys Latin had it. They get it back off the steal. Shell, behind the back to Green. And two, shooting two. That was a interesting sequence of events there on both ends. Trey Green in the line, the sophomore, shooting two. First shot goes. Like I said, we will let you know tomorrow. If we will be at Lake Clifton and Merville. If we are, we will be there. We'll let you know via social media what a matchup that's going to be. Lake Clifton still a shot for the city title. We're not there, and it will be Saturday between Polly, St. Francis Girls and Boys at Morgan State. It's going to come into a close. Whoa, and a foul. I was called there. What a tough one there. 
Shot clock at 12. So now let's uh, very quickly let you know where we will be at after that Mervo we put the game for there, of course, and then the matchup between the Piling St. Francis girls and boys. The mm -hmm. Asking Basketball Catholic Series will bring us to our nation's capital. Two ranked teams nationally in Ball Six. Against St. John's, and what a game that's going to be. Paul the six, by the way, as we're taking on Mount Luther King birthday. Beat Sienna Canyon. Why is that important? Because that's the team out of California with LeBron James and Wayne Way Sons on it, respectively. Paul the six and Damatha play each other tomorrow. Rise you if you can get there down to Damatha. Get there to it. If you can't, Monumental Sports, I really give them a plug, and I will in this one. Uh, nationally ranked showdown in the WCAC. You can see that. Uh, watching. That's a three. Hits it! Long distance shot there by Miner. That went up top, did not go. So after one, Mount Carmel seizes control, and they're up by eight, 18 to 10. The Baltimore Ball Live commercial. You check it out now. If you don't got tickets to it, get them now. to get in the way right in front of us here. Watch that here with you, the DSN DMV Ice Cube Ice Show Showcase. Looking at you from Mount Camel here in Baltimore County, Middle River. That's the Dean. Got him faking out his shoes. He had to pass that. That's the three in the corner. That hits the front end over there. Walker. He's trying to get it going. Foul. Reach in. 13 foul against Mount Camel. This one coming up. We will let you know where we'll be at next Monday. Uh, we advertised two players. The matchups are not gone like we thought they would. So we'll be at a new matchup. We will let you know that in our next time. We'll use the session here as Archer. Shall. Scored half the points here for Boys Latin. Back three goals for Spencer. How about this Boys Latin team? They can shoot it. They will not be out of the game. Side picked off by Shell. Coming back the other way is Boys Latin. That's a three. That hits all. Shell offensive rebound. Walker. That's a three from Spencer. That's his third three of the game. And the lead is down to two. That's a long distance three. Spin out. Play that game. Donato. Back to Spencer. Why not? Fourth three. And he hits. Again. Boys 
finally back I won! Try to settle things down for Mount Carmel. That eight point lead evaporated quicker than water on a sunny day. Inside, Dean's trying to do something with it. Perry in the corner for three, and he hits it. Two point lead for Mount Carmel. Walker. Selling things down for the Lakers. Try to get to Donato. He got it. Donato pulls up and ties the game at 21. Curry right. over. Back over. Back down to 15. Curry for three again. That hits the back that time. Donato with running speed to the lane and add one more into it. The senior transfer has done wonders for Boys Latin this season. And in this January run, he has been the catalyst. And hits the three-point play and puts the lead 2-3 for the Lakers. <laughs> Long distance pass, they go for the three again. Hits it! How about that? Billy Minor ties the game at 24. Several lead changes here in the last couple possessions from both sides. Shell. Got pop, but then Donato got it. Archer. I go to Donato. Shot clock at eight. Donato off the screen. Drive. Shoots it. Corner. No good. It's gonna go, it's gonna go against boys now. 15 foul against the league. Inbounded here. Swings it over. Swings it back. Alright. Alright. Drives. Puts it up and in. And the Krugers get the lead back by two. Got Back over here. Shell inside. He's shooting two. Shot in the line, shooting a pair. What an interesting second quarter this one has been. Two shots coming up here. For Shell to Junior. First shot goes. Next Monday night, the DMV High School Basketball Showcase will come back to you from our nation's capital. Through a good Marshall Academy, will host Theodore Roosevelt. And last time we seen Theodore Roosevelt, their only loss was against Potomac. Theodore Roosevelt did very well in the Governor's Challenge. And this will be the first time we've seen Thurgood Marshall against, since their opener against Rock Creek Christian. We had that next Monday. We'll come back to you next Tuesday on the Last Ring Network. That's a three deep from Perry, and that one no good. The tap back by Turk, no good. And then over the fence. We are tied at 26. Archer. For three again. Spencer got to spin it in to go. Five threes in the first half from the junior guard. Time out here. Three point lead here. The three ball has hit wonders here for Boys Latin. They've already scored 19 points in the quarter. We're just beyond the halfway mark of it. 
What a, you did, I'm turkey, you did, I'm turkey. What a second game this one has been here. <laughs> and that's, that's our lineup. Lerbo and hosting Lake Clifton, hopefully. We'll be at Morgan for Pally, St. Francis, girls and boys. Normal bar, double header. Then, all six St. John's and Thurber Marshall. Hosting Theodore Roosevelt Rough Riders. That's all coming at you. You see the Marvel game come at you Friday, and the rest of the action will come at you next week. We're going to dance right now. We'll start on Sunday. Coming back to back to back with action. Stay tuned with us. 3.30 left in this one, in the first half, that is. All right, nice, just a pass, that's a three. That one tipped in this there for Jackson. Back come Boyd Lant, so disciplined. Donato to the basket, he missed it wide though. And the ball back to the Cougars. Minor. Back over to McCray. Alright. He's looking to shoot. Takes. Evans with it. Evans drive. Pulls up. And it spins in. Lee cut the one. 28-29 game. I tell you this one. And done his advertise. Spencer. He's open again. Hits again. Oh net. Five threes. That's the other six. Six threes in the first half. Hurry, floats it. And it hits. Donato. Shall. Cut pass under. The reversal goes in. Nice there by Austin. Six point lead here for Boys Lent. to three. Who fuck it there? Minor responds. Brings it back. Shell. Cuts to Donato. Pull up. Missed it off the bat. Nice match. Tough ball. This game with boys Latin. Nice hustle there by Austin to force the issue. 142 left in the first half. Drive. Kicks it. Three ball. That time, that one did not go. Staying with boys Latin again. That was Spencer's first miss from the outside. <laughs> Spencer again. Over to Archer. Swings it back. For three. Got it! Oh my! The seven three out of the half! A shooting exhibition by the junior, the brother of Cam Spencer. Over in Northwestern. Curry for three. Missed off the side. Evans missed it wide. Out of bounds. Going back to Boyd Gladden. Fifty-one point three left. Lost it and back to Malcolm. Forty point nine left here in the half. Sorry, got it. Three, uh, three, 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 three,
lead here for boys Latin and the PWG to be there about a little message from the docks right now we'll bring you the second half here coming up here at Mount Kimmel what a game we have so far Spencer to check his three-point totals as well stay tuned Get underway here tomorrow's die here with you. Yeah. DMV High School Basketball Showcase game and I tell you the discipline is boys Latin, we always say it every time we see them and continue to do the same up by six at the moment. The three ball has been dropping. Spencer faked it twice. Walker has not even gotten involved scoring in this game. Shot clock down to seven. Off the knee. Back to prison on and he lays it in. Nice way to change the bucket. Four point game here. Team boys landing in our field. Last time we was up there for these two. The playoffs in 2017. Unbelievable game. Swings it. Three ball from Shell, front end mess. Back to Nazardine. And they call a foul, they call the ball out of bounds. They just call the ball out of bounds, and the ball stays with Mark Hill. Inside. Got it. Evans with the two. We got ourselves a two point game. Three ball from the Nano. And he hits. Yeah. Nano train that one. I will say that Nano can hit it, but he usually, it's not usually his first option to do so. So he did that. That's indeed. What a matchup. We'll go back in our archives and watch on YouTube. Check out that matchup. I'll kill him. 
Boys Land from a couple years back. What a, what a matchup and game that was. And also, The game action. Over the turn. That's a three, and that one tipped and miss. Out of bounds, I believe. My family gets it back. They do. Shot clock, four and thirty. Swings it back. Six thirty. Here yeah, left in the third. Wide open shot. Got it. Jackson again. We got ourselves a two point game here in Middle River. Inside. Got it in there, Spencer to the basket. First two point for him. All right. It's a lead, 42-38. Swings it back. Inside the turn. In the corner, swings it. That's a three. Spins out that time for Jackson. He couldn't hit that one. Don't go coast to coast. No. Shout for three. Hurry back. Swings it back. I think for three. Ah, spin out. Ball going back to boys. Off the ball. Swing. Walker pulls up. And it's rend out. Back the other way comes the Cougars. Hurry for three. Hits it. And we got a one point game. Yes, indeed. Nato wins it. On the legs. Pull up jump. Front end miss. Back over and a foul. Reach in, first team foul against Boys Lang. Inside, got it in there. He's a little force. The Cougars back up by one. Donato. Back over to Donato. Oh, that's a deep three. Tip the miss. Full two left there in the third. What a, a matchup indeed between these two. And, uh, Cross over. Curry inside and it gets it home. Three point lead. Yeah, for Malcolm. And this is a steal. It's gonna go back to boys like. 
We got a little physical there. Pass it on did touch it last. Both wrestling get together. We got a three rough crew tonight here in the middle room. Shot clock down to 24 seconds. Start to Four left here in the third. It's back court. It's tough. Rock Campbell gets it back. No good. And a foul. 13 foul against uh, Mark Kimmel. Like two. Nope, second team foul. Three, 14 left. Three left on the game. Hey, have a go, have a go, have a go. Here we go. Tipped and missed. Walker tried to bat it back, but it's going back to my. Pull out from Turk. Missed it high. Over. Donato blocks. Three on three numbers here from Al Kimmel. That's an offensive foul. All again back. The boys Latin, they can tie this game back up with a three. Shooting two is Walker. First shot. In and out. Second shot. Got it. Long drop through the lead down to two. Actually, excuse me, one of two. That's 45 43, and the lead down to two. Turk. Gives it up. Back to Perk. Perk made a little bit of noise early in the quarter. See if he makes some that. Inside. 
blocked away. Right to the hands of Spencer. Over to Walker. Shoot. That's your pass. Walker. Walker. Shot clock down to 15. Shot for three. Find that miss. All right. Back. 19 for three. Got it! Good time shot. I had a single. 48, 43. High point advantage. Big City. Curry. Up to Nazanin. Can he get it? Keeping it bouncy, too. That's a three. Got it! Mana from deep. And Boys Latin summon to the first quarter. Shoot himself down eight. Donato, back to Walker. Over to Shao. Back to Donato. It's on. Nice and in. 51 45. Not counting this Boys Latin team out. It's on. Missed it high. Some contact there on both ends. Donato driving to the basket. They get it in and one more. Just like that, boys, laying this back down by the I don't know, I'm gonna be ready to shoot this and one here. Yeah, there's nothing there. Tell them about this. No, I don't. No one. Got it. Let's go now. Check, go, check, go, check. Sure, check. Sure. Sure. Shot clock is off. And Mount Camel can dribble to the last shot. It's six, five, four, three, Curry. Swings it. That's a three. And it did not go. So after three. How about Mount Camel coming back? They got a three point lead going into the fourth quarter. I think you need to stay right here for this one. This is going to be good. Check that out. Coming up after this word. For the last one. Full quarter about to get going here. Minor about to inbound the ball. For Mark Camel, the Cougars up three in a game. They need number six in the NIA Red Division. Jumper! Missed it off the side. Walker gets the rebound. And Boys Light can tie this game up with a three. Speaking of Donato, he shoots that three and he ties the game. The second time in this game, Boys Latin has come back from an eight point deficit just like that. Inside the turf, and he got picked off. Nice pass to Austin, into the basket, and then the Lakers regain the lead by two. Back over to Little. Over to Jackson. See what Jackson can do. He pulls up and he hits. We are tied at 53. 6.57 left in this one. Off the knee. Ball stays. Boys line. Slide, fakes, swings, that's a three. Had not seen that from Walker, but he hits it there. We got a three point lead for Boys Light. Swings it. 
Mix it again over the low. Trying to burn. Burn. Nice pass. Little for three. No good. Walker with the rebound. Back over. Spencer to Donato for three. Got it again. He's struck again. He's looking it over. Lorenzo Donato. Strikes again. And a foul. Second team foul against Boys Land. 59 53 game here. The Lakers up by six. And he was down by eight. Okay. Shot clock at 26. Swing of time. Swings it over. Little inside and got it off the glass and in. We got a full point game here. 59 Walker, Austin in the corner for three. That tipped the mess. Back over the turf. Then they get it back one more time. Perry. It's a drive. And she, she, she shot foul here. In this one, Donato back to Walker. Walker can hit it. Lock there. Austin for it and got it back. Went into the hands of Walker. Spencer back to Walker. Over the shell. Car for three again. And it goes up. It's going back to the Cougars. 424 back to this just throwing this, we are dead even at 59 here. Oh, 420 left in there. Inside. Well, spins out. Donato. Walker. Spencer. Over to Walker again. Walker, Austin, and that's a backcourt violation. Back to Mount Carmel as they have another chance to retake the lead. Three fifty-four left in this one. Curry has it. Off the screen. Turned it over. Donato to the basket. 
and in. Stop by Boyd Blanton. 329 left in this one. What a game this one has been. There between these two MIA teams. I said for Boys Lightning, they're leading the black division. They have gotten red hot. And for Mount Campbell, this is a game they need to win to stay afloat. Over on the other side, the red division is right now in red. is St. Francis, Mount St. Joe's, John Carroll comfortably. The last spot between Officer Spalding, Boys Lightning, Officer Spalding, Lawyer Blakefield, and Mount Campbell. Only one team is going to get that last spot in the MIAs, the BCL. It's a little different. And like I said, the next time you will see us, we'll be maybe at Mervo. Like I said, we will let you know via social media tomorrow night, which will be Wednesday. We'll be at Mervo. Tonight. We'll let you know via our Facebook and our Twitter. We will be at the Baltimore Ball on Saturday with. Holly and St. Francis girls and boys with both matchups. That's going to be Sunday P and P Action Basketball Catholic Series. Take you to St. John's for Paul the Six. Get to see Mr. Roach and Mr. Killings together. What a what a show that's going to be. And Mr. Leggett ain't no slouch either from out for St. John's College. And then we will be this Monday at Thurgood Marshall Academy. Between Ed o. Roosevelt. And Burger Marshall. And we're in our, our January coverage action. And then next Monday we'll uh, start talking about February. Ali! Didn't get the hoop. But did they get the offensive rebound though? What happened? What happened there? Timeout by Mount Kilmore, and I think that was a wise one. Wise timeout. 309 left. 59 61. We're going to take a pause for the cars. We'll be back for the finish of this one. And I think you need to stay tuned for it. Back to game action here as Mount Camel inbounds over to Perry. He's possession here from Mount Camel. And three minute mark. Over to Turk. Rising inside. No, not there. Bernardo. I go to Walker. Bernardo again. Back over to Walker. Bernardo for three. Tiger! A tiger shot. Prodigy. Excuse me, by the senior. Right, well. Perry missed it off the back. Rebound the shot. Back over to Donato. He brings it up. Over to Walker. Shell. Goes up another dagger. The lead to eight. With two minutes left. That's a two, oh, eight left to be precise. Perry. Turk. Is he going to shoot that? He is. And yeah, missed it off. Offensive rebound there to Minor. He shoots the three. He hits it on that. Lee cut the five with 148 left. it. Donato again. That one tipped and missed that time. Took the three left. Over to Perry. 128 left here. Perry. The sophomore for three. That tipped and missed. Bernardo positioned again for the rebound. 115 left. Five point game. Walker. One more foul. We'll put Boys Lightning in the one on one. Austin lost out of bounds. Back over to Mountain. Two possession game. But again, the foul differential is benefiting Boys Lightning. Side Turk to the basket, and it goes in. The lead to three. Two daggers. Timeout by 
Five boys left. 39.3 left. Three point game here. Oh, baby. Hold on to your hat, hold on to your device. Watching this one. It's coming right down to the wire. What a game this one is going to be. Again, after our telecast, check out again our commercial about the Baltimore Ball Out. And tickets still available, downtown locker room. Stores only posted on the commercials. Now get tickets for the Baltimore Ball Out. Historic event. First event, you get one versus two, definitely in the girls, I would say. And at worst, it's going to be one, three, or four. So it's going to be that morning. First time this matchup has been in the city. The last couple times it's been out in Towson. Matt Morgan can host it. You don't admit me. Over to Walker. Coming down the stretcher. Donato swings it over to Shell. Spencer to the basket. Almost blocked. Got to put it back up. And he lost it. It's going to be a shot clock violation with 20.3 left. The shot clock is off. The shot clock is off. Mount Camel takes time. I think it is wise that they did so. We all know what they need. They need a three. Boys Latin got two fouls to give before they put Mount Camel on the one and one. So Mount Camel fouls again against Boy Latin. They will put them in the line. So this one is far from over. Sit back and enjoy this one. What a game this one has been. We have all the birthdays we've had. Several games on that King birthday in the last couple of years. And this will be a part of it as well. Left end. We'll let you know the Delaney on if they make it out, this is the second attempt to do so. Something with it's a dismal one. Inbound the ball. Most of the time, the inbounder. Back over and side count it! Good work, Velocity! Three-point play. Got it. We are tied at 67. 16, 13, second, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7. It's over for the win. It's the first one that's going to see an extra five minutes of play. I said the power call was not. Shao had a chance to win it, but Boys Lightning could not. So we're going into overtime. Stay tuned for this one.
clock. Got that four minutes up on the clock. Overtime is here. Here we go. Over to Mark Elmo first. Here we go, Perry with it. Over to Turk. Turk. Inside. He's shooting two. 16 foul against Boys Latin. It's amazing. Our first overtime game this year. We had a, had a buzzer beater down at the Governor's Challenge with Glendon Country. Satan Hall Prep from Jersey. First shot in there. And it gives Mark Kimmel the lead by one. What a matchup this one has been. Second shot here to make it a two point game and does. Again, Boys Latin has overcome two eight point leads. Mount Camel overcame an eight point lead in the fourth quarter. That's amazing. Back over. Boston. Shell. Shell drives to the basket. He's shooting the pass. 17 foul now against Mount Camel. 329 lead left in the extra period. <laughs> First shot. Got Second shot. Tied at 69. Get swings it. 322 left. For Perry, front end miss. On the shot. Dave, boys lighting the lead back. Walker, 232 left. Swings it over. Austin, back. One more time. Donato pulls up. Tipped and miss. Rebound. Right there by Evans. Hazardine tied it up and a blocking foul. What a one in effect on both ends now. The team's in the one and one. 209 left in this overtime period. First shot is in there. By one. Second shot. Got it. Tied at 70. Walker. Back over. Inside. Donato. Shooting two. Boys Latin. 153 left in this one. Perry with the ball. He batted and stole it by the Nato. Over to Walker. Walker drives to the basket. Over two guys. And get it through. Caught up by Boys Latin. 137 left in the extra period. Again, this 
one is far from over again. Both teams will not give in to the other. No question about that. What a matchup this one has been. Like I said, three years ago in the MIA conference playoffs, we was here and two teams went in overtime then with Mark Kimmel beating Boys Land. What a, what a matchup here. Like I said, for Mark Kimmel, they have six in the MIA Red Division and only the top four teams get in the playoffs. So we need this one badly. Boys Latin tops right now in the MIA a Black Division. They have not lost a game since the kind of turn of 2020. So, who wants it more? So finding out here. Camo inbound, good down four. Roll down, drive run down the clock. Side. Turk. Curry. Trap. Turned it over. Walker with it. Shell. Spencer back to the auto. Top of the stars to be stars here. That's defense, Donato opens up, and the floater did not go in. A post still out for the Cougars. Swain, three ball from Turk. Hits it! The one point game! Turk, the junior big man, showing his range from deep. What a game. 50.3 left. 75 74. We said before when it was on a four point lead, run over and boy, it's not. I tell you. What a game. Teams in the one and one here. How happens? And this will be from. Back over to Walker. Shot clock right down the 20. Walker swings it. Spencer. Ah, oh, tipped the mess. Offensive rebound to Austin. Got it. Trying to get it back. Ball on the back. The ball. Which way is going? Which way is going? It's going to stay, boys. Right. Shot clock, game clock, a nine tenths of a second difference. Well, you, you might have to foul here if you're Mount Hill. Inside the Austin, they do. They do foul. One and one in effect now. That was a 19 foul against the Cougars. Austin. It's both, it's still a one possession game. We can tie. One and one. One and one. I get the Gotta hit the first one. You'll be able to do the second. The junior. Missed it. Turk with the rebound. Here we go. Shot clock is off. Hazardine back to Perry. You know what I mean? Good timeout. By Mark Campbell. 17.3 left. We're coming back with the finish here in overtime.
Back to game action here, 17.3. That Mount Carmel has the ball. They're down one here in overtime. And Boys Latin, they fouls the one and one. All right, got it. Here we go. 15, 14, 13. Over to Anthony. Drives. Lost it. Went by. 6.3 left. Anthony should have shot that one, would have said. I think it's Luke Evans. 6.3 left. At this point, you got a foul. And do. 5.5 left. Donato at the line. He's shooting two. As that was a 10 team foul against Mount Camel. Still time, though. This one's not over for my long shot. First shot. Got it. Two point lead. 76 74. Second shot here. Make this a one possession three point game and die. Time out by Boys Latin. 5.5 left. Again. If you might. Might be you boys Latin, you might play the foul game. Less is in there for shooting. 5.5 left. Again. The game by both sides. So we've seen Mount Carmel two weeks ago. And Francis, and they made that game close. We lost my left. Believe us, go back now and kind of take a look at it. Easy talking down there. Both teams will play this one out. Okay, coming up. Let you know we'll be at Mervo. They clipped in Mervo. Come on, right? Do anything on our social media, that means we're not going to be there. We do message, we will be there. Back to game action here, 5.5 left. Man to man defense, you think? Got to guard and shoot. Here we go. Turk inbounds. Deep pass stolen. That's going to do it. 2.1 left. And if Walker hits both, this game is a wrap. Lakers, hot January run will continue on. First shot. And the very disciplined team again. I see them as free throws off. 78 74 lead. Second shot. Miss it off the bat. That's going to do it. And that's it. Boys Latin comes into Mount Carmel him and whoever and wins 78 to 74 in overtime. What a game. Mount Carmel's gonna drop to 11 and 8. Gonna drop to 4 and 7 in the United States division. Boys Latin will move to 10 and 6. And we say so long to you. Hopefully we'll be at Mervo. If we are, we will let you know. If we're not, we'll see you at Morgan for the Baltimore Ball Out. Until then, say so long to you. And I'm side at you. We will see you down the road either at Mervo or at Morgan. And right now, the Baltimore Ball Out commercial coming up. Get your ticket for it.
This is Die Sporting Network. What, what, what?